just over a year ago, I made a video when we received the RF broadcast and stuff. I made a video on how to make a security system. And it remains my most viewed video to this day. It's got about 15,000 views currently. So I thought I'd make a new one with the new smart alarms. And there's a new gadget like the Tesla coil. So in this base here, we have got some turrets. We've got an audio alarm. We've got heartbeat sensors. We've got security cameras. We've got a Tesla coil. We've got all our precious loot that we want to keep. I don't think there's anything even in there. We've got two smart alarms. We've got, we can see our security cameras here. Oh, they're not plugged in, so obviously we can't. And we also have, um, yeah, quite a lot of branches. Um, so I'm going to show you how to make this. I doubt it would be that useful in an actual scenario, but maybe you can get some ideas for it. Okay, so for this build, all you're going to need is... 14 electrical branches, two smart alarms, a memory cell, an RF broadcaster and pager set to the same frequency, a Tesla coil, two beacons, one audio alarm, two heartbeat sensors or HBHF sensors, three OR gates, a button, three CCTV cameras, two door controllers and four turrets. So yeah guys, don't really need much for this one. Uh, but um, it's going to keep your base completely safe. So this system is basically going to send you a message when you're being raided. It's also going to give you a message on a pager, provided you have it with you. It's also going to activate turrets. And if those turrets are low on ammo, it's going to send another message to your phone. And we're also going to power our CCTV cameras at the same time. And we're going to have a Tesla coil that I'll activate if anyone comes in here. We're going to have lights, it's going to make a noise, it's going to be annoying. It's going to be brilliant. So obviously you're going to want to build your base out of something a little more stable than mine. I'm just using stone because it's a lighter colour. makes it easier to record and it looks a lot nicer. Rather than having a dark, dingy, um, high quality metal base. So to start off, we're going to need about 120 watts or units of electricity. And we're just going to put it into our first splitter here, which is going to go to our main heartbeat sensor out the front. So I'm just going to wire this in. Don't need to change the branch. Two watts will be fine. And there we go. And I actually need to switch the mains on. So you'll see that this is powered. And we want to make sure that Authorized are excluded and others are included. So once we've done that, we've actually got the main detection down. We also want to take the output of this heartbeat sensor and bring it back. And this time instead, we're going to put it into the set of the memory cell. So by doing this, what we've got is we've got a heartbeat sensor that's always powered. And as soon as it detects someone, it's going to activate this entire system. It's going to cost a lot of power, but at least we don't have to have all these turrets running constantly, wasting power. We can just power this and uh, detect everything else from there. So next, we're going to take the remaining power from this branch. And we're going to plug it into the CCTV cameras. So we want the CCTV cameras to be constantly powered too. And we can just cross fit these. So each one of these is just going to power a CCTV camera. So I've got, uh, where is it? One in the Tesla room, one in the turret room, and I've got one out front too. So I'll just wire those up quickly. All right, so once all of those are wired up, we can check they're working. And there are not for some reason. Why is that? Oh yeah, of course. Uh, CCTV cameras actually need quite a bit of power to power them. So on the branches here, you're gonna wanna branch off 10 for each of them. Forgot about that. Right, let's see if they're working now. There we go. So we can see all our respective cameras here. 
Tesla turret room in front. You might want to name yours something a little more cryptic so it's harder to guess. So be able to catch a spy on your base. But yeah, on to the next one. So we're going to take the remaining power from the CCTV. And we're going to put it into the power input of the memory cell. So we want this memory cell to always be powered so that it can be toggled by the heartbeat sensor. We're going to take the output of this memory cell. And I'm going to put it into the turrets, spelt with a Z. The power in of the turrets, spelt with a Z. And we can just cross fit these again. Now for each of these turrets, you want to branch off 11. And that is so we have one pass through, one electrical unit pass through that will come through when we have low ammo. If you just put 10, which will power the turrets, then you won't get any pass through. So now we can just wire in the turrets. So that's pretty straightforward. All right. So once they're all powered in, we can take the power out from the branch. And we can put it into the door controllers. So the door controllers are just going to open and display the turrets whenever the system activates. So I know it's a mess back here, but we're going to have these garage doors here and we're just going to power them in to the door controller. So once those are powered, we're just going to take the output of this put it into the input of the Tesla room. So we're going to branch out two uh, is just enough. We're going to branch this out. And we're going to plug it into the second heartbeat sensor. We're also going to take the output of this heartbeat sensor and put it into the power in of the Tesla coil. Once we've done that, take the output of the branch, put it into the input of the lights, spell with a Z, branch. And for this one, we need to branch off four, I believe. So we're going to take four off here. And we are going to figure out where I put all the lights. So I've got one here. Take a power in, take its pass through. Put one here, power in, take its pass through. And another one here. Power in and take its pass through and plug it into the audio alarm. Just like that. And we'll take the output once again. Put this out, put this into the alarm. And this doesn't need any altering. We can just branch off two. And we're going to put this over here. And we're going to put it into the back of our smart alarm here. Now we can edit the message, so I'll just put intruder alert a red spy is in the base. Now we're going to take the output of this and put it into our RF broadcaster and I'll just make a random Frequency 6246, sure. Set that on your pager and I'll go off. So once we've done that, we can take the output of that branch, put it into the input of the reset button. Now the reset button is just gonna just gonna plug into here really. Plug that in, take the output of the reset button. Put it into the reset of the memory cell, and we've just got a working reset button for when we've sorted the problem out. And I've left a branch here, just that you don't really need this one, you could just use the rest of the power here. But if you're going to plug this into your main system, then you could still take whatever power's left uh, out of this system here. So now I'm going to wire up the low ammo detection. So we're going to take three OR gates here plug them into each other and go take the output and plug it into this smart alarm. A turret 
is low on ammo. Yeah. And what we're going to do is take these four auger inputs and plug them into the low ammo warning on our turrets. Okay, so once they're all wired up, as soon as one of our turrets comes low on ammo, it's going to head through this OR switch and it's going to let us know here. I hope. So, the time has come to test it. I'm just going to deauthorize and we'll see if it works. Yep, there we go. It's all the turrets. And obviously I'm authorized on the turrets. And you can also see over here. Oh, that's the Tesla coil. Detected is in there. We'll just close that. And we can also see here our smart alarms are activated. And also I've just realized an issue. I don't think there is enough um, power going through the turrets to actually work on there. So... So that actually isn't working, and I'm not sure why it's not. I've upped the power on all the turrets, and it just doesn't seem to want to go through this set of all gates. So maybe that's just a bug or something. Not really sure, but you can see the system works, and it turns on, and it does also kill me if I try to go through there. I'm authorized now, uh, so it will work. But to reset it, hit that button. And everything goes back to normal. So that's about it for this video. Um, kind of useless system. It's quite fun to make. It took me just a couple of hours. So thanks for watching this video. And I'll see you in the next one.